Are you searching for a cost-effective, feature-rich, and open-source dental practice management solution? Imagine a system that gives you complete control over your data, enhances patient care, and streamlines your administrative task. So, introducing you to Open Dental. Open Dental is a powerful and versatile dental practice management software designed to meet the needs of dental practices of all sizes. It is known for its open source nature, allowing for customization and integration with other tools to fit your specific needs. It stands out with its comprehensive feature set, including appointment scheduling, patient records, billing, and reporting. By choosing Open Dental, you will gain a full control over your data while benefiting from a supportive community and enjoying a cost-effective solution that scales with your practice. In this video, we'll explore how Open Dental's key features and functionalities provide a comprehensive tutorial for beginners. We'll walk you through setting up your account, installing the software, managing patient records, scheduling appointments, creating treatment plans, pricing payments, and customizing the software to fit your practice's unique needs. So without further ado, let's go! So we have in here the site of Open Dental. Head over to their website, which is opendental.com. From in there, you can see this. You can just go over right here to the trial version, and you can see in here the instructions in order to actually download the trial. First things first, just download this and then just install it as usual. So from in there, just input the password that you need and after that, it will install that. So I'll show you how it looks like on this. So here is my demo database for Open Dental. So as you can see right here, I have in here demo patients. So for example, we have in here some demo dentists that we can choose from. If you want to add in here an appointment, just choose in here a particular slot and just head over and click onto this make appointment option. You can head over and select a patient that you want to include for this case as well. For here, your date and time, just head over and choose in here a date. So for example, you can schedule them for tomorrow or for today as well. So for this case, you can just input lab cases, daily productions, as well as confirmation status for that particular patient. For this first, let's head over and select in here a patient for this case. Click onto the select patient and choose in here a patient you want to check in. For example, let's check in Bob. Let's click on them and then you can add in here a new family like add PT and as well as a lot more things. I'll just head over and click on OK. And once I have selected the particular patient, next thing that we need to do is to just input right here as time slot in order to make appointment for them. So in here we have in here Bob, and in here we have appointments for the patient. So for this one, let's head over and then input right here a particular appointment for them. To do that, click on this create new appointment, and then it will open in here this tab. So what we can do is you can head over and then see in here the status, appointment fields, date and time, and the likes. For this case, just head over and input the provider as well as some of their details, time block, time after arrive, appointment type right here that you want, as well as a lot more case. For example, right here, let's input some more things as well. You can choose in here a description for the actual appointment that they need. For this case, click on save. And then from in there, as you can see, they have been added right here. So what you can do is you can just head over and then drag them into a particular dentist decision. For example, let's add them with Dr. Sarah and drag them around here. And as you can see, they have now been scheduled for Dr. Sarah on 9 a.m. of Friday. So you can click on the appointment or you can just hover to that and you can see the actual price, the date and time, thumbnails, standards, as well as their details for this case. Now in here, you can also head over right here to the family tab. 
and then you can input right here the patients that are actually under a family insurance so we have in here bob and amy you can click onto this add insurance option for them and if the patient is a subscriber you can click on yes now from there you can add them some insurance and you can input right here their insurance plan so for this case you can just input their details relationship to subscriber as well as the adjustments to insurance benefits once you're done head over and click on save in order to save this now for this case we also have the tx plan so in here you can see the treatment plans that we have available for the example for this one this is what we saw earlier for the priority of the procedures that we have available if you want to create a treatment plan you can click on this new treatment plan option then input right here the heading or the title for that for example let's name this surgery then interesting here the plan type it can be insurance or a discount and then input right here the note after that make sure that it's active and then from in there head over and click on the save option now it should be able to be added right around here if you would want now here it is right there now they also have the chart option for this case so the chart helps you to give out or see the actual chart of a particular patient so in here we have in here this patient information for that so you can also select a patient if you want to see a chart into let's see bobs and here it is right here we can see in here their treat plan their complete as well as their exam and x-rays that they have available for this case we have in here their tooth simulation you can see in here those tooths that has already been crossed out and what happens to those particular tooth now in here you can go over it here to the imaging and you can also see in here the imaging options for this particular person or patient you can see their credit approval for this one let's head over to their panels click on the dot and you should be able to expand or see each windows based on the patient's insistence for this one you can also go over right here to the manage tab and you can send claims based on this right there you can supply your inventory and if you're already done with your appointment to that person you can click on this billing option and then from in there you can see in here this so include anyone not billed you can also input right here the age of account the billing type that you want as well as a donning message and then after that just head over and then input right here the details that you want and once you're done with those details can just head over and save that as default and it will actually send an invoice to Bob right here so if you're interested to learn more just head over to their website which is opendental.com thank you for joining us as we explore the powerful capabilities of open dental if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and share it with your network don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials on dental practice management softwares like Open Dental. So, what are your biggest challenges in managing your dental practice efficiently? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.